So guys, this morning the truck wasn't too happy about starting up. Um, gonna go pick up a battery because I had to boost it again. So I'm gonna do that today. Probably going to go with a little bit bigger battery just because I'm going to run a single battery, a little bit more cranking amps. Um, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the shocks. Um, so I got some really nice shocks here. They're a Viking performance shock. Um, they are dual adjustable, so I can set them to whatever setting I need for a rebound. Um, so I can make the truck hook a little bit better because I need whatever I can get with this leaf spring setup. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try get those installed and maybe even uh, test launch it today. First, I should probably put some more wheel nuts on this bad boy because it only has four on right now and I don't want to start messing with that so yeah that's where we're gonna start so cool um i did have to go with a little bit lower roll hole just because of the travel here i don't want to restrict the shocks um they do hang a little bit low but i don't mind that at all um had to adjust that bottom one a little bit with a hammer uh just the the bracket of it to get it just perfect so yeah that turned out sick I'm really happy and I uh, really hope they work good. So super easy to adjust. I can literally reach over into here and adjust them after every pass just to tweak it perfect. And some other tricks up my sleeve to make this thing uh, hook at the track. Um, maybe I should have gone with some bigger tires, but we'll find out once the season starts. And uh, if so, then we'll get those going i guess so guys in every video i edit i see something that really bugs me now that i have a nice fuel cell nice lift pump nice shocks just really address this part of the box the rest looks okay the cab over there is a little shitty but this just bugs me every time i edit a video so while i'm running out to get the battery i'm actually going to quickly grind this down with the wire wheel and then uh Give it a quick coat of paint and then probably go grab a coffee, give it another coat of paint and then go and grab those, uh, that battery and then it'll hopefully be dry-ish when I get back so that doesn't go everywhere or mark anything up. So here we go. Okay guys, so uh, we're gonna 
do a little customization of the tail lights. I already started, um, didn't film anything. Uh, you just tape off the reverse light portion and then you take some of this uh, VHT nightshade. Um, I know there's better brands out there. It's a race truck. I don't really care. I really just wanted to do it because it's like one of my favorite mods on any of my other trucks that I've done. Nobody notices them, but I do. So, um, so this orange light becomes red and I'm actually gonna do probably like four or five or six coats on this one uh, to make them real dark. So you just tape off the reverse light. First you spray the orange part once or twice so that it's close to the red color. And then you just keep spraying the whole tail light till you're happy with the color. And then you should throw some clear coat on there so it doesn't fade. And then toss them back in there and hopefully they look good. I'm not gonna sand, wet sand them all and polish them after it's, it'll look okay for a race truck. I've also finished painting this. I uh, use some texture, it's called a uh, European European Texture Rubberized Gravel Guard. Um, this did not clean up as nice as I thought when I was using the grinder earlier. Um, so I thought, well, if it's gonna have texture in it, might as well have a lot of texture in it. So I sprayed some of that stuff on there and I sprayed some uh, white paint on there. And I think it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than it did. Um, I also got some hardware to uh, final mount the fuel cell and I picked up a new battery so we'll slap that in after and um, yeah maybe I'll maybe I'll be able to test launch this thing tonight yet on video I'm not sure that might be another video though so guys here we are here's the back of the truck bed I think it looks a ton better um, couldn't quite clean it up that nice so I just put a textured coating on it um, and then I painted it white uh, I think it looks good good enough for a race truck um, here's the tail lights still need to do one more coat of clear they look a little too good for a race truck um, really like this mod they turned out nice and dark nice dark red not black like all you all the racer guys out there this is a nice dark tone um, so I was gonna launch the truck tonight, but I need to have the tail lights in because I don't want those light bulbs flying around everywhere. Um, I don't know if that's just an excuse because I'm scared of breaking any something on video, but um, yeah, I did get also get the new battery in. So got a nice nationwide, as cheap as possible battery cranks it right over with just one battery so the two other batteries were definitely completely shot so I'm pretty happy with that um, it is getting darker out so maybe I'll still get out we'll see so guys I took it for a drive um, suspension's pretty stiff right now I I don't think I had it set too stiff but it's pretty solid um, could also be the tires it's a little high on PSI they're not really low. They're, I think at the max PSI that they're allowed going. Um, truck still runs good. Um, I don't have a gauge, so I don't know what it's doing. So I'm just winging it right now. Um, I just kind of rolled into it a few times. Um, you'll see on the video that the tires just spin right away, but it's still a little bit damp on the road like right before I got to the spot where I was taking off in front of the camera, I was a little uh, wet, so we'll see what happens with it. Okay guys, we're uh, back in the shop. Uh, last night I quickly threw these in. Uh, it's not light out right now, there's a couple little drip marks in there but they look pretty good they're a nice dark red color um the back looks really good i really like the fact that it's all white not all rusted out so um so now what we're going to start on is the front suspension so let's get that going
So guys, uh, <clears throat> there's the sway bar, dropped it out. So, got lots of room under here now. Nothing, nothing really in the way. Ah, uh, those tram lines are bad. Um, anyway, we're gonna drop the shock out and then I'll uh, show you what shocks I'm replacing. And what. The nice shocks are also out, so uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, that's good. Everything's unbolting really quickly. So I'll get set up with the new stuff and uh, show you guys what it is. So guys, uh, as you can probably tell, doing coilovers on the front. Um, these are Viking dual adjustable shocks with some uh, e 1200 pounds, 1200 pound springs. Uh, I forget the weight of them. Uh, well, here's the part number. Hopefully it works well. They're 1,200 pounds, 8-inch springs, and these tiny little shocks, they look like they're for a Honda Civic, to be honest. Um, so hopefully they everything supports it well. Um, I have the Procomp uh, coilover mounting kit for the top, and then um, all the washers and spanner wrenches so this is pretty uh, pretty cool guys. I'm pretty excited to get this uh, installed and drop the truck down later. So guys, right in here is where I'm gonna throw a bead of weld on this shock tower. Um, it's because it's a shock tower and not actually meant for a coilover to support it. There's lots of guys that do it. There's also my buddy Derek who has some. Um, he hit a really big bump and one of these kind of ripped off the frame because the welds are very mediocre because it's only a shock mount. So I'm uh, I'm gonna throw some new welds in there and clean it up and then uh, paint it one more time because I already cleaned this up a long time ago. Um, and then uh, once it's done, then I can show you guys what it looks like with the coilovers in there. Guys, here's the welds. Um, this one's probably the nicest one. This one's not that nice. Um, I also welded right there, just up the side to the other weld, and on this side the same. Um, I really don't want these to come off. Um, I'm hoping my truck does wheelie this year. If it does, I still think they might snap. Um, I also did the other side already painted part of it up but I still have to weld these little spots down here so I'm actually gonna quickly throw the grinder this way and the welder and tack that. So guys here you can see here's the Pro Comp um, suspension oh there it is uh, Pro Comp suspension nut um, <clears throat> I could not get my torsion bars out I literally just cut them um, frames decently cleaned up in here already from last time the other side's a lot nicer here's the bars um, they weigh a ton same with the front sway bar it's gonna save a lot of weight um, so this is the frame here here's the mount and it just mounts to your factory mount over there. Sorry about the lighting, it's a little dark when you just look at it. The lights, although the shop lights are pretty bright. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and probably get these mounted up. Here's the actual parts um, all put together. I seem to be missing one of these copper washers. I might just make one of these ones that came with the Procomp lift part work um so or this one this one's a little bit nicer um but they just take a little bit of adjustment to get them into the shock mount so i'm probably going to do that right now probably going to cut it shorter so they all look the same and just use that because i cannot find my copper one back or whatever galvanized hardened steel that is so guys here's the coilover installed all finished up with bolts to it. I have it on the loosest setting currently. I'll stiffen it up as I uh, 
learn a setting. I am also not even sure what height I'm going to be setting it at um, for the maximum of travel. Um, so I'm going to throw the wheels on there with just probably two lug nuts or four lug nuts and uh, drop it down and see what height it sits at. Hey guys, here it goes. I'm going to jack this off the jack stand real quick. Now I'm going to let it down slowly and see what the final uh, right height is. Alright. Well the front suspension definitely is definitely loose. Let me get this off here for a second. Anyway, um yeah, so the front tires are a little bit low as well. Um it's definitely low. It has a bit of rake to it but I can't get the back down any further anyway, unless I do an axle flip, which probably won't happen. Um, I'm pretty stoked on this. This is cool. Um, not only is the ride, oh, this is gonna be so easy to work on. Not only is the ride a lot lower, um, it also should do really good with up travel, seeing how soft it is. I can just move it with one hand. Um, so as soon as it lifts up, it pushes more pressure on the back tires. Um, so it tilts back. Um, yeah. And it saves probably around, I would say about 200 pounds of this torsion bar setup. I do have to add another cross member in there because I did cut the cross member in half to get it out because a little ambitious so that's out right now so that will need a new one in there somewhere i think i'm probably going to put one close to where the front shock towers are currently near the bottom um maybe a little forward from that but a little bit back from where the original cross member is because i do have a transmission cross member still in there so So guys, um, that's the end of this video. Um, basically, that's all I'm gonna be doing for suspension work. Um, I will tune the suspension, so there will be a video on me tuning the suspension, setting it up so the rear doesn't quite squat, but it has just amount, enough travel to not shock the tires too much they spin, and the front needs to lift up as high as possible. So I'll see how I set that all up. You'll also see it in the video. So, um, but yeah, that won't be for a while. I'll probably be doing something with the transmission first before that even happens. Um, but yeah, this thing uh, starting to come together.